All right, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Natalie Champagne. We are going to be showing off some base set only decks on my side. I have got the original Haymaker deck. Feels like we're always showing off Haymaker because it is one of, if not the best deck from these early years. Got my original base set only Haymaker deck here. The Electabuzzes are actually these kind of future Electabuzzes that came out in like 2002. So not exactly era correct, but super cool. Can't deny that. But same, a reprint of the original Electabuzz here, but Haymaker from the original base set, only the first 102 cards from base set. Gonna be used in this matchup on Natalie's side. We've got a Gyarados Alakazam deck from Jason Klazinski's blog. You could check up his link to his blog in the description below. This deck plans to use Gyarados to attack with Dragon Rage and Bubble Beam, firing off powerful attacks and keeping that Gyarados healthy with an Alakazam there. Alakazam's got that ability. Damage swap allows you to move damage counters around. Gonna be putting those damage counters on something big like Chansey and then oh. healing them all off with Pokemon Center. Very good. So, yes, these are the two decks here we're gonna be showing off. The Alakazam deck does not play hardly any of the degenerate energy removal cards, anything like that. None at all. Really, the deck just wants to set up and tank and the deck plans on eventually running this deck out of energy removal. Sometimes this matchup can end very quickly though. Abra yes, uh, only has 30 Magikarp hit points. Magikarp only has 30 hit points. Magikarp also only 30 hit points. So this can be an yeah, issue yeah. <laughs> sometimes. However, I have won this matchup one time. Oh yes, <laughs> I decided to keep the deck together if it could win just one time against Haymaker and it has won at least one time. It won one out of a, th out of a series we played. Yeah. Usually when we play a best of three, the other non-Haymaker decks can steal like one game <laughs> out of three. And really that's all you can hope. Haymaker was super overpowered for the time and it just uh, didn't really have any counters in this original base set from the game in what, 1999? Is that when this thing was printed? In original 98, 99, something like that. So awesome here. Nice little throwback to this original Pokemon era. Get to show off some sweet holographic cards as well we got hitmonchan in this deck no scyther in this one because this is the original base set only haymaker scyther didn't exist yet so hitmonchan pretty much just ran rampant and the only card to counter hitmonchan was this doduo so you'll see that in oh, my yeah, list as Dodo. well yeah, yeah, yeah uh call tails all right so looks like I natalie guess. is going to be going first that is good because in the original base set format, you could attack on the first turn going first. In fact, you could play as many of the powerful item cards that you had in your hand, except they weren't called items, they were called trainers. Everything is a trainer. There are no supporters. So you could play all of those powerful trainer cards in your hand on the first turn of the game, and you could attack, and you get to draw cards and things like that. Throughout the, uh, throughout the course of the Pokemon trading card game, these rules change quite a bit. I know in 2006, what you can't do what on the first turn? Um, you can't play a supporter, and you can't draw for turn. Exactly. You go first. So there are a bunch of rules in 2006 when things start to change. All right, Natalie's showing off all those right. uh, awesome Shadowless Abras and a Shadowless Magikarp there. Sweet stuff. Draw? Oh, Right. Piercer. Sick. <laughs> I did not have anything in my hand that I could play. Oh, it's fine. I'm sure you would have lasted plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> Three turns, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I've got my Chansey in the active position here. Chansey is good in this format as just a big, meaty wall. Claws. A big, meaty wall to just soak up damage and things like that. So on turns where you get last, you could just promote Chansey and just soak a bunch of hits until you get to draw back into cards again. Last is a very powerful trainer card from this era that strips both players of all the trainer cards in their hand. However, the player playing last has a clear advantage because they get to play all their trainers first, then strip the opponent of their hand, and then uh, and then can usually go on and sweep from I'll there. Touch. And oak. All right, Natalie gonna start off strong with an oak. Now in this deck, it really, you just kinda wanna bait your opponent into playing their energy removals, things like that. And Natalie's just gonna lose lots and lots and lots of energy early on. But if she could establish a solid board state with Alakazam up and things like that, and maybe get a Chansey into play, start moving things around, she's going to be able to survive into late game. Things are already looking great for Natalie. This is Go ahead. an ideal setup on her side. My side of the field, I've got a super awkward hand over here. Like I 
don't want to discard any of these things. I know that I need my energy removals. Oh no, it looks like I have a super energy absorber in here. <laughs> uh, how did he find his way into my deck? Sometimes I accidentally get foreign cards into my list, so I don't know. Foreign. Uh, foreign. I don't know what kind of energy removal that is, but it is oh, not English. That's him? fine. Yeah, 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 go ahead and look at that. That looks German. Very uh, German. All right, that's yeah. a little German. Can I see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You might be able to see that. It's very German. I got an energy absorber. All right. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to computer search away, and I need to probably get rid of this item finder and a lightning energy, even though I don't want to. Man, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of those, and we're going to have to go get something. Now, unfortunately, you really wish this is the time where you wish you could just go get a Cynthia, right? I mean, <laughs> this is like what you would do in the modern standard format, but there is no such thing here uh, in in this day. So that is not an option. I can go in with Electabuzz though. I just do not want to discard two super energy removals. Seems super rough. Pretty sure the deck only plays three. So that seems bad. I feel like I just need to go and get my Electabuzz and just kind of hope I draw into other things here as far as switch cards, things like that. I mean, I know I'm playing the long game but Natalie's got plenty of setup. There's pretty much no reason for me to just start rushing her here and burning all my resources. That's exactly what she wants. If she sees two super energy removals hit the discard pile without me even getting to use them, uh, that is just a huge plus for her. So I'll just start by attaching to my Electabuzz here. Chansey only has one retreat. Chansey does have one wow. retreat. Uh, actually, yeah, I think... Um, yeah, that's Everything fine. was so light back here. Let's, back uh, <laughs> let's just, uh, I could retreat the Chansey. I actually kind of do like that. Yeah, let's retreat the Chansey. Oh, I was just noticing that. I thought I had two. I like that, though, actually. Yeah. And uh, let's pass to you. Okay. I'm fine with this. Just get the Electabuzz into the active position, you know, and then I can start to probably retrieve those energies in my discard pile and start attacking here shortly. So right, Pokemon Trader, trade one of the basic Pokemon or Evolution cards in your hand for one of the other ones in your deck. Sure. So I'll trade my chance. Same thing is a Pokecom. So it's a very similar effect to a Pokemon Communication, but which still Worded legal, very redundantly. Very redundantly. And that's <laughs> a common theme of many of these older cards. Cadabra. Natalie going for the quick Alakazam here. That is very good. Uh, she's also gonna wanna get a Gyarados here eventually and then once the Gyarados is set up Gyarados got a ton of hit points you can just send Gyarados out there in the active it's weak to grass that's funny there are like no right yeah Magikarp's weak to lightning Gyarados weak to grass so do you think I attach a second energy or do you think I like try to uh, you can like spread them out like one and one because yeah. then I can't like super them yeah I'll do this, that's so, like you fine Magikarp and right out. uh go ahead yeah you could also uh oh yeah. I'll retreat into Chansey also. Does that have free retreat? It does. Okay, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so Retreat and Chansey, that's a great play there just to soak some damage before we, while you try to set up your Alakazam. All right. I... Oof. All right. There's, this just all seems fruitless at this point. I don't want to discard any of these cards in my hand. Uh, I've got an Sad. energy removal, two super energy removals, and an energy retrieval. I think we're just going to removal the Magikarp and just pass to you. Okay. And we're just playing the long game here. I need to save these resources. I can't just let Natalie have all her energy or she's going to be coming in and she's got the dream set up now. This is fantastic. And she's just going to pass. She's not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. All right. Um, I actually really like this card too. I don't want to discard <laughs> him. Uh, but at a certain point, you got to start doing something, right? Uh, I think I will energy retrieval the Hitmonchan. That's Sorry, fine. Sir. We've got to get rid of him. We need to start cooking here. So we're going to get two lightning energies out of the discard pile. Energy retrieval is one of the few cards that hilariously got worse. Uh, <laughs> you know, was that was worse back then, but is better now. You don't right. have to actually discard anything to use energy retrieval nowadays. And then we're going to go in with a Thundershock. So flip a coin of heads, you're paralyzed, and you're not paralyzed. Ten damage, though, which Natalie will probably move wherever she wants. <laughs> but... It actually looks um, pretty good right there on the there Chansey. Now. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, go ahead. All right. I'm going to draw, and we're just going to attach another energy here. Just go in with Thunder Punch, and we got heads. So that's 40. Puts Chansey up to 50. That's looking pretty good for me. Draw. 
so far. Natalie just playing the waiting game here, kind of just getting set up. She's got her two main guys out, though, which is great. So you would need two plus powers and a head, to, head stack. Yeah. Right. I think, I think, I think you I'm could be a little another... greedy. I think that deck plays like four Chansey. It does. Yeah. I put one back earlier, but... Yeah. Um, go ahead. All right. Draw. And yeah, I think uh, I'm just going to go in... Do I start attaching to my own Chansey? I feel like I could take like a big knockout on an Alakazam Double or something edge. with Chansey. Oh yeah, I feel like I could do that. So I feel like I don't mind putting this here. And also I can super energy removal off of that. Right. So we're gonna attach to the Chansey and then go in with Thunder Punch again. Heads, put that Chansey up to 90 damage. Next turn, looking at a knockout here unless Natalie Starts to move some of it around a little bit. Hmm. Moving damage around does feel a little sketchy. You don't want to put it all on the Gyarados, you know, obviously. Right. Um, um, the Abras and things like that are just, like, uh, very weak. They could die. They're, like, I think get knocked out anyway with any... 20 here. Yeah. Um, I could just poke my side of this all off, but I think I want to sit, like, try to be... A little bit more greedy with it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Um... I think you could put like no, twenty on the Gyarados to Um, you know what? We're, we're You're just gonna, gonna center because okay. I am gonna scrunch. Oh, okay. She's gonna buy more time yeah. with scrunch. Okay. Um DCE's like is that what DCE's for in here? Scrunching. Yeah. For like double oh yeah, because I got Gyarados can't use it, so yep. I don't know what else I can uh, do. Scrunch, yeah. DCE's are for scrunch and uh to get me to waste my energy removals on uh, them. Uh scrunch. <laughs> uh huh. They buy you Dang. more time to set up. So, That's yeah. fine. Um, I will, let's see, cause it's annoying for me. Like I, right. I need to remove it, but then it also gets me to waste an energy removal on it, which I don't want to do. Uh, we're just going to energy removal the DC and then go for a thunder punch again. Thunder Those punch tails. tails do 10 damage to myself. That hurts. And I'm only doing 30 flipping heads on thunder punch is super good for me because I just, over and over again, you're getting that 10 extra boost in damage. I mean, if I weaken myself so much, if I flip two tails on Thunder Punch, Gyarados' Dragon Rage is going to be able to do 50, knock out my Electabuzz in one go. So that is something to look out for, for sure. Now, Damn. Natalie, what are, you, uh, what are your thoughts here? I don't know. I've got a weird hand. I don't want to oak again right now either. Right. Um, you get these hands where it's like you need to keep your resources. You kind of need a jockey for position. Like what? Oh. You could, you're always good just to kind of pass. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you're not not really in any sort of rush here. Neither am I. I'm just, like, trying to right. you know, wear away. Oh, my gosh. We did 10 more damage to myself. That is bad. That's a little better. Okay. And imagine if we were at 80 right now, then that means that I could potentially knock this Chansey out. But um, being only at 60, two tails in a row. Feels rough. What you got, Natalie? Uh, that's a good question. Looks like you got an item finder hand over there. I do have an item finder. Yeah, you can I always tell your opponents uh, when your opponent's poking around in their discard pile and base set or base jungle, whatever base set formats. You know they're going for an item finder. It's like uh, how people, you know, when you see them and you're at a tournament or something, and you see them organizing three cards next to each other. You know they're going for an ultra ball. Um, they're just yeah. trying to figure out what to ultra ball away. No. That. You're gonna save your energy retrieval. I think so. Wait for you to get rid of that. Other energy. Yeah, I, I think like. that's My smart. Hand is just odd. Yeah, um, there's no I was point. thinking I had uh, no. I'll, uh... You gonna move some around? Yeah, yeah I like that. that. Um, yep. I'll put this to make it easier to see. Okay. Um, go ahead. All right. Just draw. in case. Yeah. You have a crazy two plus power heads hand over right. there. Right. No, I don't. All yeah. right. So yeah, we're gonna go in for another thunder punch here. Heads, all right, so now that thing's at 80 damage, it's pretty good, just one good Thunder Punch flip away. Oh, and a second Gyarados, that's great for Natalie, because um, now she has more places to put that damage. Right. Exactly, and you could buy more time, more time. So she's just going to keep damage swapping around, and I need to wait for an ideal opportunity to probably start to use some of these energy removals. I'm not going to bite and use energy removal on just a, a super energy removal on one energy, but right. you know she kind of wants me to. So that's kind of like the weird situation that we're in right here. All right, I'm just gonna go in and- You're just gonna knock yourself out with Thunder Punch. That's my goal. I'm, oh, <laughs> need to knock myself out with Thunder Punch? Thunder Punch, oh my gosh, with Thunder Punch again. More damage to myself. Uh, I was assuming I would draw into another basic Pokemon eventually, but it's looking like we might not hit any bills or anything like that. 
And we could very well knock ourselves out with Thunder Punch. Okay, um, so I'm going to... What do you got over there? Damage swap a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to damage swap a little bit. I think I'm going to... Hmm. What do you, what do you want to put more on the Gyarados, you think? Yeah. Um, I think I just keep it like around 60. Yeah. 50. That's, that's Seems safe. Like I mean, I'd have to really blow all my plus right. powers to like knock something out. Right. Um, I can also, let's move one more here. Yeah. Putting damage on the Alakazam is always a little sketchy because if I do get like a double plus power turn on the Alakazam, that like really hurts. Right. So. Um, let's, uh, let's be a little cautious. Yeah. I like that better. Go ahead. And yep. Go ahead. All right. Draw. Ooh, ready then? Yeah, so we're going to slap another one here. Uh -oh. And, you know, if I if I get four on that thing, I can one hit DC? KO in Alakazam. DC, right? I don't think I play DC, oh, really? so I don't think I play double colorless energy. I'm not sure. I might play one or two. Okay. Um, and then let's just, uh, yeah, we're going to go in with Thunder Punch again. Now, actually, uh, curious question here. If you use plus power... Uh, does it do more damage to myself? No, it doesn't. It says only damage to the defending. Okay. Player. All right. I was wondering if uh, Thunder Punch would do more damage to me if I flip tails while using a plus power, but it does not. It only okay. affects the defending Pokemon. Um. So I'm going to. Natalie's board is looking super good do right now, here. but I don't know what her hand looks like. Ooh, gosh. See, and then there it goes. Everything is and undone it's gone. again. <laughs> and completely gone um, yep all my hard work i feel like i do this for nothing uh that's fine i like that yep. um just start to build them both up yeah right sure yeah wait for me to remove stuff right um you could just you know put them on there and get me to bite but like it's fine um yeah i kind of like spreading the energy out yeah that's good you don't have as many targets to put your uh damage on for pokemon center that's true um so like, let's just yeah. Let's I just think do you kind of just like you get me to hand. yeah. You get right. me to kind of like. So I want bite. you to do that right. Exactly. That yeah, yeah. Okay. So you kind of like are like all right. Use your energy. Get an energy off the Chansey here. You know you don't right. want me to put more on okay. here and then knock uh, out the Alakazam. Go ahead. Yeah. Draw. Okay. So now I'm like okay. I see two energy. Gonna use my super energy of <laughs> Okay. All right. And discard one off my Chansey here. And wow, this is uh, yep, this board state looks exactly like it did approximately six turns ago. <laughs> but that's the whole point of Natalie's deck. She wants to wear right. me out of resources and uh, get to a point where eventually Gyarados is gonna sweep. All right, I'll uh, Thunder Punch. Eds. Okay. All right, and uh, hopefully this Electabuzz did not eventually knock itself out. Second Cadabra is very good. If Natalie can get two Alakazams into play, that is fantastic. It's got energy retrieval. Doesn't need work? that third Magikarp at all. No, really, if both of these Gyarados go down, then there are some serious problems. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with, definitely losing. <laughs> uh -huh, there are some serious problems with the whole machine if that uh, if that happens. All right. So I think like, oh my goodness. Uh, let's uh, shoo. Uh, let's uh, computer search. I'm gonna play computer search Goodbye, here. Dodos. Goodbye, Doduos. I don't really plan on using them. I don't think. Uh, and then the crazy thing, Gyarados resists fighting Oh. <laughs> also. Uh, so Hitmonchan, super not good against uh, against Gyarados. Hitmonchan, very good against Chansey, though. So I do like Hitmonchan for that. We, the, right. This is actually, uh, this is Natalie's childhood Chansey. Er, you can tell it's very er, faded. Er, uh, my, my Hitmonchan? Hitmonchan. Yes, it That's is. That is him. That's your Hitmonchan oh, from your childhood. He does yeah. his job. Yeah, he does. So I gave him to you. I'm going to pick the shadowless one oh, instead, though. Nice. That's not nice. Okay. Put mine on TV. <laughs> he was on TV for a second. I showed him <laughs> off. We're going to pick out the shadowless Hitmonchan. He's cool. He's very cool. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to pick out... You have my nice, childhood Scyther, too. Nice shadowless Hitmonchan. And then... I wanted the Hitmonchan, but now I'm like, I don't know. Did and I plus really power up is after weakness, right? Uh, plus power is after weakness, yes. So yeah, you don't so get to double that card up got worse, power. too. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Plus power is not quite as good as it used to be. All right. And then uh, we're going to go on with the uh, the same old tried and true Thunder Punch. And sure enough, yep, Electabuzz is at 40 now. Starting to feel a little insecure about himself. <laughs> a insecure. Uh huh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. He's thinking that maybe he could get knocked out, which is why I wanted to get the Hitmonchan here and ready to go for eventually my Electabuzz is going down. When that Electabuzz goes down, I want to have a backup Attach. attacker here. Uh, I'm going to... 
See, now this is all very frustrating for me. Because I'm like, okay, well, yep, Gyarados got two energy on it again. We're going to try and strip those away, but I'm not getting any knockouts. Oh, bless you, Natalie. Thank you. Not getting any knockouts here. That is by design. All right. Um, let's see, 40. You would need a lot to knock me out. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a old pass for me. All righty. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to super energy removal the Gyarados. Yeah, take that off the Chansey there. And now I can, oh, goodness, I um, feel like, yeah, energy retrieval, my plus power, get my two fighting energies back, and I want to start building up this Hitmonchan. I feel like if I can get three energy on the Hitmonchan, yes. <laughs> special punch for 80 on the Chansey is going to, like, you know, that's going to be a little hectic for Natalie to deal with. And then we'll just Thunder Punch here uh, for... 30 and 10 more damage to myself all right <laughs> because we know natalie doesn't play energy removal cards there's no way that those could fit in there with all of this other stuff that she's got going on so she's just going to continue to juice get some water back and just keep doing that same old thing keep attaching to the gyarados hopefully that you know hoping that she can eventually kind of get there through just you know attrition and uh, and eventually start to launch off Dragon Rage attacks after, you know, a very long... And imagine playing a series with this matchup. That oh, it would takes be long, insane. It took a long time. Well, we, we took a... Our games, like, it was pretty quick. I think I got, like, donked one game. I, right. I won one game, and then the other one was, like, I just didn't do anything. Right. Um, but this was a while ago, so I don't remember. Yeah. Um, hmm. That's a pretty good board state you got there. Yeah. I think that's fine. Go ahead. Looks good. All right. I will draw my card, and we're going to slap another one of these boys here onto the old Hitmonchan. And then, oh. Okay, so, what we, yeah. Oh, we can eat the Thunder Punch. All right, that's a heads. That's good. That's what I'd like to see. 90. If I were to flip the tails there, being a 60 makes me feel a little bit bad because <laughs> I am close to being bad. knocked out. Right. Um... And this could just be, like, the world's longest deck out here. Natalie's deck is, like, the equivalent of modern-day Waylord, basically, uh, in, like, you know, base set format. It kind of operates the same way. Just try to wear your opponent out and then eventually sweep them. So she's going to damage swap a little bit, kind of finesse some mm. things around. No, I changed my mind. Oh, okay. I... Whoop, she's got the item finder. Yeah. And is gonna get. I don't know. I feel like you could wait a turn on it. Could wait a turn. Yeah, keep that energy in your hand. Um. All right. And what are you worried about Let's... losing? Chancy. Chancy, that's fine. You can move energy back to. You can move damage back to Gyarados. That's true. Um, I will. Yeah. Let's. Let's you could put, put some damage here, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. Mm -hmm. um, I'll put some here too. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna go up to forty here. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And then. Hmm. I just feel like twenty on the cadaver. You know, forty on the cadaver feels fine. I don't really. Yeah. That's what I'm like. He's like not the biggest. And then that wouldn't, Yo. yeah, that wouldn't be on the Alakazam. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's like a fine board state to be at. Yeah, but you still, then you could special punch me. I you, can. You would have to retreat. That's a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go down to. I think I if I'm special punching, like I'm probably not going to have that chancy anyway. You could put it on the Gyarados, the other Gyarados. You could put that up to like five mm -hmm. and the Alakazam at like one. What, that would put you the chance at like 40, but like, then like 80 is still knocking that right. thing out. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll wait a turn. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I think like you're not super worried about losing like one prize, I don't think. No, it's just I don't have any yeah. other chances right now. And I'm not like if you energy removal and knock out my chancy, I'm like. Uh, that might be what we just top decked right. into here. That's yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh huh. Uh, actually, hmm. Yeah. No, actually, I don't have all the cards to do that right now because, yeah, I would have to, like, retreat. 
but I can't like I can't super energy removal and retreat. Oh, okay, I see. I and I yeah, I can't do it all this turn. So <clears throat> I think uh, going with forty fifty if I use that. Um, I think I like. <laughs> Uh, I'm in a weird spot. I just top decked a good card. I'm like, all right, but is this the turn? You can't use like your item finder and all these other cards in your hand. If you item finder, you're like, you're not using those cards. So I think like for me, I'm just going to item finder here for the super energy removal and removal. I think I'm just gonna do it. Discard off my Hitmonchan uh, and then Oak. And draw myself seven cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get a little bit of a bigger hand here. I've been sitting on that original hand like the whole game. So, all right, I actually didn't get any energy for a manual attachment there. That's a little bit of a bummer because we would like to get this Hitmonchan like with another energy on it. Um, I could uh, scoop up. That seems like rough are there four on my Pokemon resources. Center in here? Uh, I'm pretty sure there are four Pokemon Center okay. in there. I'm not exactly sure though. Okay. Might only be a couple in item finders. Mm -hmm. So like. Four item finder in here, you think? Uh, I actually have no idea. We should have looked at it. Yeah, we're gonna find out. So I think with this hand, I uh, just wait a little bit longer. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna thunder punch you. And it's so we put Natalie up to a hundred damage. She right. gets that extra turn. The world didn't burn down that turn, and so <laughs> that's right. uh, that's good. I think like you know coming out ahead there, it's pretty good. Um, you didn't end up losing a Pokemon. Uh, I did use a super energy removal again, but I am down two super energy removals and at least one item finder, two item finders and two pursuit, two super energy removals. Uh, so I am starting to lose resources here. They are starting to get depleted. Just played an Oak. So that's like big on my deck as far as draw goes. Uh, I see Natalie kind of looking at things over there. What you got going on? Moving that there. Alrighty. Putting that there. Yep. And pass. Okay. Draw. All right. Attach here. And let's see. I mean, I could go like all in. Try to knock out that Gyarados this turn. With the energy on it. That'd probably be a pain for Natalie to deal with. Uh, if that thing goes down, I think like I probably try to go for uh, let's uh let's energy removal there, and then let's gust up one of the Gyaradoses, and then slap plus power on another Electabuzz on my bench, and then we're just gonna oak again and see what we could do. All right, little razzle dazzle here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. All right, now my deck is starting to look very thin. So this is like <laughs> not good. Uh, this is uh, very not good. A, I want a second plus power here. Bill. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, Bill. Oh no. Okay, all right. There's second plus power, but I'm not going for a third. I think I'm just trying to flip a heads here. Right. Um, because my deck is dangerously low. Natalie actually kind of loved to see that though. That could have been a bad situation for me, being a little greedy here for one prize. But uh, flip, and it's a heads. All right, the Gyarados goes down. That's 60 damage. So that is good for me, but at what cost? I had to draw a lot of cards there, and I've only taken one of my six prizes. Um, I think the hope is that... I got an item finder. Yeah, is that things start to kind of escalate here for me. My item finders get dis... Or my oh, yeah. uh, plus powers get I'll discarded. Put yeah, she's like, no more of that. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to heal. And she's gonna oak herself. She's like, all right, I can afford to draw cards now because you've drawn cards. So maybe you could get another Chansey in play. So yeah, just a big, yep, big beefy Chansey that you don't care about. Now you've got plenty of other places to throw your damage. Still got one Gyarados live, so that's A-OK. -okay. And there we go back, right back to Scrunch Town. Scrunch Town is where and we're going. And really, I mean, you probably are looking like you could deck me out this that's game. That's kind of my strategy right now. I don't know. Yeah, it, it could happen. I've got probably like 12 cards left to deck. Um, 11. 11 Close. cards. So 11 cards left to deck. Scrunch. She could deck me out, especially if she flips enough heads on Scrunch, things like that. Uh, I need to just get myself in a position where I am like got attackers loaded up 
and just like swinging for the fences here throughout the rest of the game to try and rush and take my last five prizes. So we're gonna Thunder Punch here and we got heads, so 40 damage. It's good for me. Uh, looks like you, you didn't get the energy attachment last turn. You didn't draw into it. I a, did. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. No, it didn't get a water down, but there, yeah. Now we see the water come down, and the DC is good there. And Natalie will be able to just kind of scrunch and scrunch and scrunch. And even if she can get that to just, you know, kind of stick 50-50, she knows I've blown almost all my resources now. As far as plus powers are, like, pretty much out of the picture. A lot of my energy removals are scrunch. out. Yep. And there's a heads on scrunch, so that's good. I'm going to have to gust if I want to get around this thing. I could dig into my deck, I'm but I'm like, one, one here. yeah, yeah, that's fine. I could dig into my deck, but I'm not going to dig into my deck anymore at risk of decking out. I can't do that. So that that's bad. Yep. We just need to, I think we start going in on this Chansey here. Okay. Uh, and we're just going to, does Scrunch prevent all effects of attacks? Um, prevent all damage that a Chansey during your next turn. Any other effects still happen. All right. Thundershock. So we're going to go for Thundershock. We paralyze the Chansey. Uh, I think it's a sleep. You know how to do it, right? Sleep, uh, sleep, it's uh, alphabetical order. Par clockwise. This is paralyzed, right? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. um, yeah, because this would be. Yep. Yeah, yep. That's nice. it. I was gonna say we. I usually tilt it the completely wrong uh, way. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When I do mine. So. Um, I'm gonna put that there. Sure. Um, and yeah, sure enough, um, here it comes go Gyarados, and my Hitmonchan is going to do absolutely nothing to that Gyarados, so that is kind of scary. Another energy here on Chansey, and then we're going to go in with Thunder Punch, try and deal a little bit more damage. Oh, and the Electabuzz is at 60 now, so the thing could take itself out of the game. Natalie does have to deal with my Chansey, though, here, um, uh, which is, you know, just doing a lot right now. Two and two on here. What's crazy Number is that one. you also have an option if you do draw into another DCE to just double edge. You know. Yeah, what I mean? but if I don't, I don't know how many are in here. Do you know, <clears> I have think, any idea? Uh, just, I'm down. This is my third. Uh, I might. Then there's not probably have any. four. You think if so? The third. Then there, if there's three, there's probably four. Okay. Usually the counts are like two, two or four. four. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. So it is something that could happen. Pokemon, Pokemon trade. trade. Take a look at your deck while yeah, you're in there. I'm yeah. Take just see what's up. See what's in that deck right. of yours over there. Just make sure you got some some juice left if you need it. Uh, going into the end of the game, that's good. That's like really really right. good because now you're not One, as two, dependent three, on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right, okay. more than me. Yeah, yeah. I'm at like nine. I or figured, so. but I wanted to just. Yeah. Um, With three Chansey in play, Natalie's not nearly as dependent on hitting Pokemon centers. She could soak you know hits for a long time on those Chanseys and not feel bad about it. Grunch. What she needs to keep alive, though, is that Gyarados. I mean, that is like, a, you know, that cannot fall at all costs. So that uh, that is a definite for sure. All right, my Chansey is starting to look pretty good here. And uh, I feel like I just kind of swing away with this thing. I Wasting two energy to retreat, I don't know. You don't, I don't think you care if you give up one prize I don't right think now. I, I don't think I do. Um, um, so, yeah, we're going to Thunder Punch. Uh, just okay. oh, well, there he goes. Okay, so and it's gone. And it's gone. You have the Electabuzz down, but that's fine. He put up a good fight. He was out there for a while. We're gonna, okay. you know, slap this kind of new Electabuzz up and hope it doesn't get, you know, completely demolished. While we protect some of our other attackers here, Natalie's finally got three energy on the Gyarados. You uh, go in here. So I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, the only thing that can knock you out is a Chansey double plus power. Like, I think you're... I think I'm, like, you're pretty, pretty low. You're pretty depleted. Um, I don't know. I think at this point, if you do yeah. that, you're burning so many cards, they might just deck you out. Right. I, exactly. I so I, I probably in. have to oak to do that. I could was, scrunch a few more turns. I think you just go I in. I think I just go in. Yep. If it comes down to it and you don't retrieve, you don't remove this, I can right. scrunch it, a little exactly. more. Exactly. Um, I think you take the damage off of the one with the DC. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And now you have an option to double edge as well. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, and you don't really need to do anything. I'm going to put these at three and three each. Yeah. Um, you don't really need to do anything if I, uh, actually, you know, if I double edge, I do 80 to myself. You know, right. you could double edge, do 80 back, and it'd just be a big kind of blow up fest over here. Dragon Rage. All right. So, yeah. 50. 50. Very good. Cool. Right, I'm going to draw, and let's see what we got going on here. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, I... I've got myself in a situation, yeah, where I feel like I need to 
kind of get that thing at some more damage. So let's uh, let's scoop up the Electabuzz, promote a new Electabuzz, and then I'm going to try and shock this thing a couple times. I don't know why I'm doing that, though. Let's see, because I think I just need to load up a little bit more before I go in and double edge. Double edging right. anything right now feels like kind of bad. So I'm going to try and soften the field up a little bit more. Thundershock, uh, Tails. All right. So 10 damage. Gonna try and basically hope that Natalie doesn't have another Pokemon Center. If Natalie has another Pokemon Center, then like, you know, I mean, obviously she's got a little more time before she needs to play it. But yeah, you're gonna wanna keep that Gyarados for sure, just like clear of damage at all times. You don't want there to be any sort of, oh yeah, four energy. We could go with Bubble Beam. I'm gonna Bubble Beam. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Bubble Beam, Dang so it. good. Uh, 40 damage though, that's and no heads, joke. You're paralyzed, yep. yeah. If heads, I'm it's paralyzed. The same, same math for me. So. Exactly. So Bubble Beam is super good for sure. Um, and yeah, I need to think, I need to, I need to get myself out of this mess somehow. Putting energy onto damaged guys feels super bad, but we don't have any other options right now. Like, we definitely need to try. Thunder Punch, uh, Tails, Tails. So, we do 10 damage to ourselves. You guys could see what took so long is 30. Yeah, what took so long yeah, for us to, you know, get to is now just like this big slug fest where, you know, we're both kind of like trading huge hits back and forth. I don't have energy removals left. Uh, some might even be prized. I just don't have anything. Uh, and Natalie's finally gotten to a board state where she's really taking control and putting a lot of pressure on my attackers here to try and finish things up. All right, what do you got going on over there, Natalie? Um, I think I wait to put one center. Oh, you definitely do. Yeah, yeah you definitely do. Um, I have another These energy. These guys could go, like, deep yeah. on damage before you um, poke one center, really. Uh, I think, I don't know if I... If I attach an energy anywhere, if I just wait, um, I could just throw it all on the Gyarados and be like, you won't energy rule me. Uh, right. But you're already down quite a few. I feel like you could put one more on the Gyarados. Let's see what happens. Just in case in case you super me, then that means I can... Right. I still have... Pro I might have, have one. like one left. Yeah, I think you just do, do it you just play in case. Do you know if you... Do you know any... It's any probably energy? three super energy removals. There's one at large. Two. Yeah, exactly. So. And I probably play th two or three item finder. Um, so. There is a DC in the deck. There's a fourth. So yeah. I, can, I can wait on that. Yeah. Um, Dragon Rage. All right, so she takes another prize. Actually, goes ahead and prizes. So that is wild. Uh, and yeah, I am just still in a tough, tough spot here. All right, we're gonna promote the Hitmonchan. That feels bad. Um, but we're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. All right, Hitmonchan. Uh, and then draw. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're going to... Resistance of 30. Yep, not good. Uh, we're going to put one here, okay. and we're going to gust uh, the Chansey with no energy on it. And special punch for 80, <laughs> putting you yeah, at 110. 110, an annoying 110, yes. So we're going to hope Natalie just doesn't really have a switch card here and or uh, doesn't have an energy to retreat or something and that I could just kind of overwhelm her board by special punching you know and kind of get her stuck we're trying to put the banana in the tailpipe that's uh we're trying to get things clogged up here on Natalie's side and hoping that it could buff out but what do you what do you got over there Natalie what are you um, looking at I mean I have an item finder but I don't want to waste it on a switch right um I don't have an energy I think Um, I mean, honestly, I could think let this waiting, thing knock it out, get this thing knocked out. You could let it get knocked out. I could let it take a hit, get knocked out. I'm a fourth chancy. I don't hand. mind that at all. I think you just... I have just, another chancy in my hand. Sure, just put another damage counter up. Oh, you can't. You could knock it out yourself. I could knock it out myself. Why can't... Why can't what, I don't can. see why that's bad, actually. It's not bad. I think that's a good idea. Um, yeah. We will remove a, a gentleman off here and... and sure, knock yeah, knock out. it out. Yeah, knock yourself out. Yeah, <laughs> knock myself out. Knock myself out. Yeah. And then... Uh, right, because then you get to just go right back to where you were, put another Chansey down. Right. You're fine. Um. And then you could, like, spread out more damage to it. Right. Um, I'm going to move the 20 here. Yeah. And then... Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think I like that. Um, For sure. No, that's really good. We're at tide prizes now. You put some damage on board. Right. Exactly. Um, 
Let's. No, saving the uh, item finder is definitely yeah, clutch. Yeah, I, want, like, I don't want to waste that. it on anything but Pokemon Center. Oh, for sure. Like, I yeah. need to be able to, so. <laughs> Tank a little bit more. Yep. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Heads. All right, that's really good for Natalie. Busted I am Bumblebee. paralyzed. Sleep confused. Paralyzed. And 40 damage. That is so good. Go. All right, yep. Draw my card. And, yep, deck's starting to look a little thin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. We're going to throw an energy here. And uh, pass to you. Gosh, that is so good. Um, I mean, gosh, this is like, it feels, yeah, yeah, pass to you. And he wakes up. Yep. Feels bad, man. Feels right. bad. Looks like we're getting bamboozled here. Uh, banana in the tailpipe. Oh, that's the, that's the name of the game here. Um. All right, Natalie's going to get to go ahead. Dragon Rage. Even Chansey's double edge is not really going to do enough. And I'm going to put myself all the way down <laughs> to, like... To knock out territory. To knock out territory. So it's like the 80 damage. Was it worth it? Uh, Probably not. I'll just... I'll, I'll Dragon Rage. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's rough. Okay. So I think I promote my Electabuzz here. Draw. Paralyze me. Uh, you think paralyze you? I'm about know. to deck out. I need to just... Oh, just do damage? Yeah. yeah. I need to lay on as much damage as I can here at the end of the game. Uh, we're just going to attempt, yeah, Thunder Punch again. But at this point, like, the writing's on the wall. Like, Natalie's got an insane board state. I do have the option to Lass. Lass does shuffle all my trainers back into the deck. At that point, though, Lass kind of just, you know, uh, Lass just kind of delays the inevitable. I think... Given Natalie's strong start, she would have had to, like, dead draw somewhere. She would have had to whiff a Pokemon Center somewhere. But she just got, like, the dream game over here. Bubble Beam. And is just doing Woo! outstanding. Flipping another heads on Bubble Beam. That's insane. So, yeah, I'm, like, missing attacks now. My Pokemon are getting two hit KO'd, which is, like, horrible. Considering sometimes I can't even attack with them. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to move this 22 That's also. fine. Yeah, uh, I'm going to energy retrieval. Uh, my gosh, I should not even... Nope, I can't. I'm going to need to last that back in. All right. Um, but at what point? You know, like, it doesn't right. matter. So I'm going to attach here. <laughs> and uh, feels bad, man. Uh, yeah, we're going to pass. So that's, that's your go. And there's just very little I could do. I am feeling my prize is very bad right now. I know that there's, like, probably a super energy removal prized... Uh, there's probably also an item finder prized and those cards really hurt to be in those bottom four prizes uh, because that just you know Dragon that would be a couple more energies knocked off of this thing here so I think uh, at this point I mean what well, we we can't we can't do it all right uh, we're gonna promote the see, chance see what you can do draw uh, oh you're saying there's two lasts in here we're gonna oh. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I do actually need to play something. Yeah. All right, we're going to play that and get these back. Sure. And I'm going to then Lass, okay. which shuffles my Measly. Oh, my gosh, and her hand is just pure juice. All right, and I'm going to shuffle my four trainers back into the deck, but Natalie will probably be able to win the game by then. Uh, I'm going to attach my one energy to my Hitmonchan here, and I am going to double edge. Uh, which does 80 damage to myself. Yeah. Which just... And 80 to me. Hurts really, really bad. And there's... I know Natalie, you know, uh, could just move her damage around to save that Gyarados and just poke me. Let's see. She so could you're just, only doing 10. I, I know. I just need to move a little bit. Uh, so let's do 40 on each of these boys. Yeah. Um... You could even put just a little more on a Chansey. Why not? Yeah, like, you know, it's do... like... Um, Forty on each of these guys. Yeah. Just give me another like turn or two without a without a um I had sixty so forty. Yeah. Give me another turn or two without that uh item finder if I need to. Right. Um Dragon Rage. Yep. Oh boy. Yep. And here we are with a lone Hitmonchan. Uh yeah, we can uh special punch for ten. <laughs> and that's uh what we got going on, and this is gonna be how the game ends up. Natalie could go ahead. And item finder for that game determining Pokemon Center. We're going to put yeah, 50 yeah, here. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to put Pokemon Center. Center. Oh, that feels horrible. The DC comes off the Chansey too, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, she doesn't need it. She's... I can move all the I can move the damage off. Yeah, that. she would have moved the, the damage, damage there. Yeah, yeah. I about him. Mm -hmm. Um and Oh my oh, gosh. Man. So Yeah, okay, that's fine. I get to deal my final <laughs> <The> ten damage. <laughs> my final uh Oak. 
Uh, this is energy removal. Oh, sad. You know, that's uh, that's it. All right, Natalie's got game there, so great game to fun. Natalie. Good thing we got to show this deck off. I was oh, worried yeah. it was gonna get a. Uh, no, you can I see. Was worried it was gonna get I prized an item finder, so it looks like maybe this list one is only playing two super energy removals. So yeah. Not you quite need, enough a... energy removal. I needed to play a few more, I think. In order for oh, you this put one breeder in here. I was wondering if you there. did. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, pricing that final item finder kind of hurt, and just uh, yeah, you can see that deck just totally ran me out of resources. So shout out to Jason Klasinski for coming up with a brilliant list there uh, to be able to compete in the original base set format. This was a long game, as you can see, but like I said, that is like uh, that's what the deck is. It's a stall deck and wants to do a late game sweep hey, after all of the resources have been depleted. If you guys are interested in seeing these lists, you can check them out in Jason Klasinski's blog. It's in the description below. Uh, and once I get more resources, I'm going to have uh, some more Haymaker decks and some more old school decks for sale in my Etsy store. I've got most of them bought out right now. I do have a Zapdos deck in there from the original base set format as Zapdos. well for sale, but I am also trying to get my hands on some more uh, Haymaker stuff as well, and maybe eventually we'll be expanding to have some Wigglytuff decks and maybe some uh, Clefable decks and things like that in the store too. If you're looking to get into old school decks though, Jason Klasinski's blog is an excellent resource to start out just to read and read and read and kind of just get your bearings on those formats. I'm going to be doing uh, entire breakdowns of all the old school formats on Tricky Gym as well. So you can stay tuned for those. That's one of my summer project hopeful ideas. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, check out the Patreon and the Etsy store in the description below. Big shout out to Natalie for helping me out with this. Thank Thanks you. for joining me, Natalie. Have a great day. Peace. Peace.